Good morning. Maybe it's not morning where you are right now. Maybe it's evening or afternoon or something like that. But let me tell you, the mornings here on Table Rock are beautiful. That's right, we're finally here. Hope you guys watched the last vlog traveling up here. But right now, we're sitting at the ramp getting the silver bullet ready to get wet. Cold conditions here, it's 39, it's about 9 o'clock, so we've waited a little bit until it's warmed up a few degrees. It started out about 35. Uh, we got overcast conditions. We're going to try to figure out where these fish are going. Pods of smallies, largemouth, and spotted bass. It could all be here. Yes! It doesn't matter anyway if we don't catch any fish because we're such we're in such a beautiful area. You look bundled and I ready am. to go, my friend. I think I'm lost. Are we not in Texas? <sighs> we're not in Texas anymore. But we've never fished here together. Never have. You've come up here separately with Heather. You've had a great time. Me and Stephanie have come up here separately. We've never been here together, so it's awesome. Girls are out doing antique shopping this morning. We're going to meet up with them this afternoon. Enough talking about things. Let's get on the water and get to fishing, baby. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be an indicator of how our fishing day is going to go. We get this slow mo action here for you guys. That was a good skips. Well, okay. That's pretty good. First one was a little better. All right. I'm trying to get a feel for the lake. Uh, son of a. It's 90 foot deep right here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Look at all them shad down there. My gosh, man. A few chasers around there. A couple shopping carts here. A couple shopping carts for sure. Yeah. Looks like a hula hoop. Somebody <laughs> left. Good call, Greg. Yep. You've been on your, your game lately. I think this is the move right here. I think we go try to find some transition banks. That's, that's where I've always done the best out here. Normally fished it in the fall. Transition banks. They go from like pea gravel to kind of chunk rock. That's the kind of the area where the smallmouth like to spawn. I'm really not sure about spawning of spotted bass. I really don't know. But we're gonna do a little bit of graphing, some investigation. And then we got a chunk of line, baby. I'm thinking, I'm thinking wiggle wart, crankbait. Uh, get that little swim bait out there. Maybe a little grub action. Uh, man, I gotta break out a finesse jig at some point. You know, you know how we gotta do it. Right now though, we're sitting at 120 feet doing nothing with our lives except talking to the camera. I'm trying to explain the situation. I just get excited when I come up here, guys. Alright, we're going to fish eventually. Guessing. You called it too, you got probably gonna get hung up on the first one. You did. Popped it off, made another cast, and caught a large mouth. <laughs> Stupid. Didn't have audio right there. Apologize for <laughs> I literally just rigged up a Ned rig. That's my first fish on a Ned rig. Isn't that crazy? I was like, you know what? We're going to rig up some Ned Rig, some finesse stuff, just for if things get a little bad. So I just want to show you guys what that deal was that I just caught that that fish on right off the bat, starting it out. That is what's called the Ned Rig, just a little shroom head. And then it's got a little Cinco thing going on. That's on super light line. I got that on, uh, I think, six pound test on my little Phantom series favorite rod. And I got I got Craig rigged up with a uh, one of the six sticks, the seven fours for throwing the same same kind of deal finesse stuff but here's the important part here's what's going on here this is what we said we were going to look for first spot we pull up to see we've got this well first of all you got big big chunk rock over here and then it goes to kind of some pebblies like like probably the size of baseballs and then it goes to just straight up pea gravel and that is honestly i thought that was going to be a smallmouth on because this is where smallmouth usually spawns we got 200 feet of water behind us. I just casted it out this way and I was working it kind of in that, that pea gravel. And as soon as it starts to drop off a little bit, a fish hit. So sitting in 10 foot right here, 200 behind us. Good a good first catch, gotta say, finesse style. All right, after that first little fish, um, I'm just kind of working my way around this island. I've got a uh, wiggle wart tied on right now. I'm working this pea gravel. Uh, took me forever to get all my stuff tied on, but I've got, I've got a swim bait rigged up. Uh, Craig's got a swim bait rigged up back there as well. Got a Ned rig, and then I've got this uh, wiggle work crank that I'm throwing, just trying to bounce it off some of this pea gravel. And we're on a, uh, the shallower side of it, so I'm trying to see if any fish are committed to moving up onto this flat. It's overcast, the water's 54 degrees, but we're gonna go around this island and see what happens. Our only fish we've, we've caught so far is on the front side where it's got really deep water close by. Are you zooming in on my coffee pea stain? No, it's a dandy though. All right, we've been working our way all the way around this island. We're about to get to the, all the way to the other side where it starts to get deep again. Don't think these fish have committed to moving up onto the flat area yet. So I think finding 
some deeper water close by is going to be uh, a key element. You, you got a fish? Yeah, yeah, set that drag and get him. Stick him again. Uh, well, oh no, it came, it came off. Justin, that might have been a good one. Yeah. That might have been a really good one. I know, one. man. My drag wasn't You, sh you should have stuck him again, bro. It's right where that transition is. That's, that's where they want it. Are you on your picture? Yeah. From the net now? Yeah, I'm down there in the cracks. Is that a fish? That's a fish. Fell off into the crack and he had it. Just got heavy. Oh boy. Call it smally, largey? Uh, I think it it's a, a spot. That's it's a nice a, spot. It's a spot, bro. That's a great spot. Oh, he had it too, man. It, it honestly felt heavier. Look how pretty that, that fish Look is. at that guy go. You want to get him? Just fat. No, I'll sling him. Look how pretty that is. Ah, uh, there we go, baby. Justin. Yeah, look how healthy that fish is. Look at that. Whoa, belly. <laughs> that is beautiful. Football, man. Yeah, I was bringing it up over, over one of those boulders, and he just, uh, he just, he just went ham on it. Just started uh, getting heavy on me. And I mean, that thing is gone. I kind of view throwing this Ned rig and a grub and stuff like that as, as almost like a fish anywhere kind of thing. Like you can fish anywhere on the lake and probably get bites, but you're, you're probably not gonna find like the juice, being able to find a really good pattern that you can just run and catch fish. I like to find the fish that are on moving baits that are willing to eat. You know, where you just run around and then cover so much, water. Cover so, so much water and then you're really up in your game. Whereas this, it's like you could throw this off any dock probably and get a fish yep. to bite it. But it does help help you realize there, there is fish there. Uh, we just rolled into another pocket and the water is so much cleaner. This is right across the lake. I'm talking, I can see like five or six feet down, no problem. It's gonna be large. I think it's another spot. It's, it's another spot. spot, yeah. Look at that clear water, dude. I know, and that's such a pretty That is awesome. God. Fish. Another another Ned fish, man. New technique being learned here. Wow. Oh. Nice one. As soon as it got to the bottom, we just moved, and this water so clear right here. That guy's been caught before, eh? He's got the old uh, dip Stars, lip. Yeah. Looks like he's got a fat dip in his mouth. Yeah, watch this fish from away. He's... Craig's got a little speed craw rigged up on a, a Ned head, and I've got just this little stick worm. And this is a pocket where I've, I've fished a few tournaments and caught some good ones up around the docks and just wanted to come down here and see. This water's super clear, and I didn't feel that bite at all, by the way. It was just literally got to the bottom and it just kind of got a little, weight. yeah, a little weight. The water's so clear, they'll just see it falling. They'll chase it to the bottom, and then when it gets to the bottom, they'll pick it up. Eight pound test here, folks. Hooked up. Spot. Hooked up on a fatty spot. On that yeah, little, get in the boat. Little craw, right on a point. That seems to be, uh, seems to be the deal. All we these little it. point transition areas. God, they're so fat right now, dude. That is fat. Spring spotted, spotted bass. That's wild. He's cold too. He's not warm. No, he's not exactly the most agile right now, but they still fight hard. <laughs> Daddy saw something he liked, huh? <laughs> Fish this little, uh, all these transitions, man. Seems to, seems to do all right. There he is. What do we got here, Smalley? You gonna complete the cycle? You gotta complete the cycle. Don't lose this fish, Craig. Smalley's gonna Smalley's gonna come in hot under the boat. He's gonna jump. Oh yeah, Smalley! Smalley! Hey! Smalley! Yeah, dude. Nice one. Heck yeah, bro. Watch that eight-pound test now. Hey yeah! There, there we go. Heck yeah, bro. Hey, call. completing the hey, we three got, species we cycle here for today. The cycle? We have for Heck the cycle. Yeah, man. We had a single in the first inning. We doubled in the third, tripled in the sixth, and the ninth inning. Bam! Homer. Man, I was you were just about to say, hey, can we try another spot? <laughs> and I was I was just thinking, like, I can't believe. I literally just said, I can't believe we haven't got a spot. Look at the oh, look at the girth. Look how pretty. Oh, look at the girth. 
There it is. This is why I love to come here, guys. The cycle. Smallies, spots, and largemouth all in the same morning. Pretty spectacular, man. We'll get a pick, then we'll let that guy go. Pretty savage. Okay, let it go into the depths, man. Ready? Yeah. Oh, she's clamping down, got my thumb. Yeah. They got strong mouths, don't they? Yeah, they do. She was biting down. There's 100% another one down there. Let's get it. Let's this, get that sucker. This is another transition that we literally just came from uh, another area we just bounced. Whole pea gravel area back there, like a pea gravel spawn pocket, and then deep ledge out here, transition area. That's where the that's where the fish are. You can literally see some of the boulders out there. That fish is probably in like 12 to 15 feet of water. Just a little uh, little wire head, a little wire weed guard head with that little craw on there. They gotta eat it, man. Gotta eat it. Eight pound test leader. Nicely done on the hook set. Thank you. You know, I was nice. She never had a choice. Just nice. She had to eat it, never had a choice. Is that a bald eagle? Bald eagle. I just knew we were destined to see a bald eagle, man. Just perched right up on the first spot we were fishing and caught a fish. Got to love this lake, man. No giants, but I mean, we've we've hit the cycle. We've seen bald eagles. That's what I love about it, man. I just can't stress that enough. It's so cool to see all that. So back at the first area, we're gonna see if we can pick up maybe one or two more fish right here. Broke a good one off here. On a warm day like today, I don't know if we should go all the way in the back of the creek and also check this afternoon. We're kind of in that weird transition moment in time where it's getting warm and I'm not sure what to do. Woo! Hey, stay hey, hot! Fall down! Stay hot! I, I just took my GoPro off. Oh man. You just got a bite and then I first cast, I picked up a little finesse rig. This is another large mouse. Yep. So we're at. Oh, nice. I think two spots, two largemouth. It's just cold, bud. Is it freezing? Yeah. Two spots, two largemouth, and a smallie. They're all thick, though. Yep. Healthy. <sighs> Smell good? Smells good. Smells great every time. Nicely done. Thank you, baby. I'm glad we came back here, man. I know, right where the bald eagle was. It's a sign. It's so awesome, but I, I couldn't get bit on the jig. Picked up my little eight pound test Ned rig. Doink. Eight pound test has been the, the trick, That's I guess. That's honestly a key. Yeah, it really is. Well done. <laughs> it's probably the last fish we're gonna be able to catch before we gotta go meet the girls. Gosh. Let's just tell them, hey, uh, boat broke down, we're stuck. Uh, got a new boat, ran out of gas. See you tonight. <laughs> you saw that. Huh? Oh yeah, oh, I saw the nice bite. One. This is a nice one. It looks pretty good. Can't tell if it's. Oh, that's a fighter, whatever it is. It's a smallmouth. Is it a smallie? Another smallie. Holy crap, dude! All three species off one spot. Nice, bro. It. You're on Woo. fire with it. <laughs> kind of lift him with the eight pound. Uh, it's him? pretty sketchy. Yeah, you may want to lift that one. It's not huge, but. Come here. <laughs> there you go. Not huge. I probably could have flipped them. That a boy. Better safe than sorry. No, oh, they're all pretty. Gosh, they're gorgeous. Rank me on that landing. How'd I do? Well, that B was minus. That was like a four and a half. But <laughs> is that a C? Yeah. God, I love these. Wait till you see the chew bro. marks on there. Look at the look what I did to I the worm. I saw word. your rod just go. <laughs> they hit it so hard, man. That's pretty though. I love them. You're you're getting de you're definitely getting more smallmouth bites with that craw. Yep. I think that's a, that's a thing. But gosh, dude, last fish before we gotta go pick up the girls. The bite's hot. Too, Let's go bro. pick them up and get back in here. I mean, I we're getting so. we're getting hit. How pretty is that? Oh, got to love it, baby. Here we go. Oh, she's ready. That's so cool. Straight down. This bump. Hey, one spot, all species. That's pretty special. That's pretty cool. I gotta tell you, the bald, bald eagle? eagle. That was it. That was the omen. That was the omen we needed. Oh man, you gotta love that. Well, fishing freaks, we're gonna shut that video down right there. When we went to go pick up the wives, I was honestly kind of expecting a little, just a little cruise action. 
turned into um, them actually doing some damage out there and a lot more content and the video is extremely long and uh, way too much to upload here at the slow internet of the cabin so I'm gonna split this into two video guys so part two is gonna be the ladies out on the water so make sure to go check that out tomorrow and this is such an awesome lake I had such a fun time didn't catch any giants today but we did catch all three species in one area, I mind you. You can do that all over the lake. That's what makes this place so cool, seeing bald eagles. Just having all the awesomeness, that uh, nostalgic cabin feel out in the woods, middle of America. So y'all make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thanks for being here today. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.